My name is Marcia, I work here for ScriptCase and I'm going to perform a demo for you today on ScriptCase 9 and the goal is to demonstrate how ScriptCase works, how you can use ScriptCase for your development and also to take your questions. This is a live session, I'm also recording this so if you need I can send you the video uh, with the steps we are going to proceed here. Okay, so let's start here the demo. Uh, I am here on the website to explain you uh, what, is, uh, what is a script case and how it works. A script case is a web development environment we call it this. Uh, the goal is to uh, help your development for you to develop faster. Uh, you can develop a web application with the script case. The language that script case uses is PHP and you can also uh, integrate your systems with business application solution, solutions I mean, advanced reports, charts, dashboards. So today the idea is to develop a small system uh, showing all these uh, features. And then you can also access our uh, learning area to see more videos. We have just released a new version, uh, the version 9 of script case. So most of the, of the videos you will see inside the e-learning area will be still inside the version 8, but you can already find uh, videos on version 9. Okay, so uh, to develop within the script case, you will have basically to follow uh, some steps. I have here six steps, but I can resume in three steps. So basically it is uh, connect, customize, and deploy. Okay, so you have to install script case, then connect script case to your database. After that, you will create the applications, the systems, the reports, whatever you need to create, and then you will deploy uh, and deliver the applications to your customers. So let's go here through the process, connect, and then build applications, customize applications, test, deliver, and then maintain. We have here this schema, just for me to explain you how uh, we divide the development, the, the flow, the development flow with the script case. So you have the development environment, where you will develop the applications. So for the development environment, you need script case itself and script case uh, will be inside an environment with PHP and Apache or any other server. Okay. And you have the database. So we'll connect script case to this database. When you finish the development, you will deploy to a production server. Inside this production server, you won't need script case. You need script case only for the development. Once you deploy to uh, your customer server or to your company or whenever you want to deploy, the applications will be independent from script case. They will just need the PHP uh, and the Apache environment, the Apache server to, uh, to, to work, to run. Uh, the database, it will depend. If you are using the same database for development and deployment, you just need to deploy the applications. But if you are using different databases, you have to export from the database, uh, from the development database and import to the uh, production database. Okay, so this is the develop. Here we have the developers and inside the production, we have the final users. We are going to call here during this presentation, final users, okay? Uh, so continue here, we just have some learning materials I've told you about already. A script case is a Brazilian software we are here about 16 or 17 years now developing script case. This is the only project we have here inside of a company. Uh, and since 2013, we decided to go international. And today we are growing very fast with a big community uh, of users around the world. So let's go now to a script case. This is my script case now. I have script case installed inside my own computer. So we call local host. I'm using my computer as a server and I'm accessing here as localhost. In script case has different options for installation. You can download script case pack. So if you download script case pack, it will bring uh, the Apache PHP 7 and the encryptor for script case. We are going to uh, build the environment for you. But if you have already uh, the environment, you can use here the manual installation just with the script case. In my case here, I have the automatic installation on Windows. My system, uh, my operating system is Windows 10. And I can also install script case uh, on my local server, on my local network. For example, here inside uh, the company, we have many script cases. This one, for example, is another one 
inside another computer here from my uh, local network. I can also install script case online using a web server uh, or hosting because the script case itself is also a web application, it's also a web system. It means you can use the script case uh, as uh, online, you can, you can also share the script case environment. For example, this one I'm sharing with uh, all the colleagues here inside the company. We have many users and you can have people using it at the same time and sharing the same project. So this is very handy when you have a team working on the same project because then you can share the projects and work all together without sending files and uploading and using I don't know SVN or any, any other type of any other type of uh, file sharing. So let's use here my local script case and I'm going to log as admin and inside script case we need to start by uh, creating a new project. I have here already a couple of projects and you see here the option to create a new project basically. So you see that uh, I don't have the options here activated because everything will be activated just after I create the project. Okay, so let's start by creating a new project. Uh, a script case, as I said, is a development environment. So the idea here is to guide you with everything you need uh, for your development. So when you go to create a new project, the project will have uh, the applications uh, what we call applications and we will have different types of applications for you to create the system so you can have a project just one with one with uh, just with one application you can have one project with several systems it's uh, it's about uh, it's up to you the way you will organize your project you can organize one project per customer or what one one project per system okay so uh, script case will guide you to create here through some steps uh, to define already some basic options for your project. So for the, fir for the first step you have the option to create the blank project. Uh, it means you will set everything from scratch or you can also use a template and then the template will contain some uh, applications. Uh, this is more to show you uh, examples of applications developed on script case. So you can download the samples, uh, the template projects to, to, to see some examples uh, and then here script case will deliver the project itself and also the database okay just for the templates so if I download for example this one uh, I'll go here to name the project etc and then it goes straight for me to import uh, the database the, the database because then script case will deliver the database tables and also the applications okay so for the blank project, I'll have to have the database to connect and then create my applications from, from the beginning. This is what we are going to do here today. Start uh, with the new application, a blank project. Uh, if you go to the website, we have here the samples area. Inside the samples area, you can find the systems. And the systems you see here are the systems we have inside script case. So you can have a look because here they are deployed. So you can execute this one for example uh, you will see if there, there is some applications uh, or if there is some application that you want to have for your own that you want to use for your own project you can download and copy uh, anything you want okay so the, the, these projects are here uh, for you you guys can download and use as you want so you can go here to the samples to check out the projects and then if you like, you can go to script case and download. So let's create our blank project. Let's name presentation. Okay, I can upload here an icon for my project. This is just for me to recognize the project inside script case. It's not going to appear inside the project applications. The second step here uh, during the project creation is to select the languages for my project. So it's getting Portuguese. I'm going to add uh, English as well. Okay, it's going to ask the, um, the country because this is not only translation but also the regional setting. So when I choose here a new language, I'm going to, uh, a script case is going to translate for me um, all the, the default buttons, the default messages, many uh, things we have already inside the applications. 
uh, everything you create, for example, your internal messages or the fields, uh, you can also translate using a data dictionary that we have here inside the tools. We have a data dictionary for you to uh, import the, um, the fields, the table fields, and then translate easily and fast with uh, script case. So script case helps a lot when you need to create projects uh, in different languages with the data dictionary and with the uh, project languages. So I'm going to select English as default and I'm going to change here this, the, the chart set because I know that the database I'm going to use with this project has uh, UTF-8. Okay, so let's go next. The next step is for me to select the teams for the project. Uh, here we have uh, how the applications uh, is going to look like. Uh, for example, layout, CSS, and script case has some options for me here. I can select more than one, and then I need to say which one will be the default one. For this case, the first one, this uh, version 9 Hino. Uh, I can also have here this option to see the select themes. And everything I select here will be available uh, inside the project. It means I will have the default one, but then if I need to change inside one or, or the application, I can change. Uh, I can also customize the teams or create my own teams. We have here uh, inside layout area the options for you to customize the teams, uh, the CSS and everything inside the layout of the applications. So let's go next. And then here we are going to select the database. So I have already a database installed inside my, my computer. It, it is a MySQL database. And inside the MySQL database, I have some uh, sample uh, tables, okay, sample database. And then I'm going to select here MySQL. So for MySQL, for example, I have to inform uh, where the database is located, the name. I can also add here uh, SSL secure. For example, if I have the database online and I'm connecting, doing a remote connection, for example, it's recommended for you to use SSL tunnel, uh, secure tunnel. Uh, and then basically I need to inform the connection uh, details, username, password, uh, where it's located, but it's going to depend on the database you are using. If you have Oracle, then you have to install a client. If you have access, you have to install something else. Then uh, according to the database, you have here uh, the, the, the special settings. For this case, for MySQL, it's very simple. We just need to inform what is located, uh, username and password. Let me type here. I can see here the database I have and select the one. Let me select here uh, samples demo. I can test the connection to see if it's working. OK, and then create. So script case is going to create a project based uh, on this database. I can see I have here some database options. If I go to database menu, I have, for example, the data, uh, database builder and database uh, and SQL builder. The database builder is for me to um, manage the database. So here I can see all the tables. So you can see that inside this database, I have already some tables. And inside the tables, we have some dummy records just for us to show the example here. So I am creating the samples uh, based on this database. So it's not coming from anywhere, okay? Uh, so you need to have the database and then to connect to script case. If you want, script case can also help you with the creation. You have here an area where you can create the fields. You can also use the commands here to create a table, create a database, delete a table. Uh, you have also the SQL uh, builder for you to build uh, queries with your database tables and fields. Because the script case, as I said, as an environment, we try, we, we try to provide you all the features you will need for your development. So in just one place, the idea is you to organize everything and have uh, all, all that you need for, uh, for the application development. Okay, so let's start creating a grid application. We have here different types of applications. We have grid, charts, forms, uh, search applications, menu, dashboards, uh, reports, and PDF, calendars. And I'm going to try to explain you uh, how you can 
use the different applications, how you can integrate them and how you can customize the applications, okay? But this is just an um, overview and then I'm going to do everything here quite quickly just to try to show you uh, different options. But then you can also access our videos and trainings to learn how to do step by step, okay? So let's just create here a new grid and when I go to create here, I can select, for example, the tables. And when I select more than one table, Squarespace understands that I am doing um, join. So if I select more than one table, Squarespace will perform here the relationship. I can see the relationship. And then I can also uh, identify if I have a narrow inside the database, if I need to correct something inside the relationship. So Squarespace will do this uh, analysis for you. And I can do like this, or I can just create with a single table. Let me just select here again. I'm going to use for this example, the table uh, sales, because then we have some uh, interesting fields like category, product, uh, quantity, cost. So we can do like a, a report, just for me to show you the report um, features, the, the reporting features. So the language for this application is English and let's create. So script case will create the application and open the uh, settings uh, area for me to customize uh, the grid application. Before I do uh, any customization, I'll just run the application and then script case is going uh, here, is going to create all the folders and everything inside its directory and display an application for me. So let's see here the application. Okay, so this is the grid application we have. Uh, the first one, the script case, is creating for me. Uh, I have already some buttons such as the quick search, columns for me to organize uh, the columns, uh, sort, uh, sorting button, uh, export options with uh, XLS, uh, PDF, print. We have here an advanced search button for me to search inside this database table. Uh, and we have more buttons inside the grid application. And then the idea is you, from this application, customize according to your need. Okay, so here we have just, uh, we are just displaying the data. The grid application is for you to display uh, the data and then we can turn this into a report or we can um, link to a form so we can change the information. So let's try first to change uh, everything here and transform this grid into a report. So first, I'll go back here, and then we have uh, the different models inside the grid. As you can see, the initial model is grid, so it means every time the application uh, opens, I'll see a simple grid, but then I can use this grid as a, as a summary, as a chart, as a search, uh, if, I say, if I change here, for example, the initial model to search and run, instead of displaying the grid, I'm going to see uh, the search application, which is integrated with the grid. So let's look here, for example, for uh, Regio 1, and it's going to bring me uh, just the Regio 1. Let me go back here. Let's, let's, let me try with category. Let me see if it, with names or seafood. Yeah, because, okay, so here we have only seafood, okay? So usually when you have a grid with many records, uh, you use the grid like this. You, you add the search to start the grid and then you have the grid. Uh, so you can just go here and set the initial model uh, as you need, okay? For the summary and, ch and chart, you need to have a uh, group by. If you go here to summary and chart, you will see that there is this warning telling you that the model can only be generated if you have a group by, okay? So let's put it back here to grid, and then I'm going to create a group by so we can have a summary uh, or chart or we can have a report from this data. So we can go here to group by options. We have two types of group by. You can create the group by dynamic 
just selecting fields and then the fields will be available inside the grid for the final user to uh, create the um, report dynamically uh, or the groups and you have this static group by this static group by uh, you will create all the options and then the final user will just select according to the options you create so let's create here as a static I will say that this is going to be my group uh, one and I will say here this is the name for script case and this is the name for the user so for the user I will say that it's report one or report A so for this report I'm going to select the field category uh, sales date by year and sales date by uh, month we have here the options month year week uh, category will be in the x-axis and for the grid totals I'm going to select sales and for the summary totals sales as well I'm going to explain you here why you have summary totals and grid totals okay so let's run like this and now I'm going to have the same grid but group it uh, according to the category sales date by year and sales date by month so if you go there you will see the same grid but we have category uh, beverage and then 2013 January February March and so on but now since we have a group uh, we have activated the summary in the chart so if you go here you have the button summary we can click and see the summary so that's why I'm creating this because I want to see the summary like this uh, in fact I want to use this grid as a report so for me uh, it's better to have this as a pivot table like this so I have the year here I have the months and then I can see inside each month or I can see inside each uh, each year okay so I will uh, change here I can have different totals for example let's say inside the grid I want to analyze sales and profit inside the summary I want to analyze only totals or I want to use this grid only as a summary only as a pivot table so I just discard here and then I go to the grid models and say that I want to use this grid as summary so the initial model will be summary once I run the application I will have only uh, the application opening uh, already inside the summary okay so this is the uh, this is the um, the options you have by changing here the model so you can just if if I, if you if you know that you won't need the detail for example you can just uncheck here uncheck here and the grid will uh, have different uh, faces it will have different options you can use the grid in different ways okay so we have already the group and we have our summary inside the summary we have already uh, the charts you can see here the total charts for example per year or per month and etc but you can also create the chart application uh, separately from the grid using the, the chart application we are going to create here today uh, and inside the um, inside each model of the grid you will have different options if you go here you have the options from the grid then you have the options from the uh, group by summary search so according to the models you have uh, the options inside here the the main uh, menu so if you go uh, to the search option for example you have the search application and then here you have the search options for the search application and you have also the search inside the summary you have the search inside the grid so for example for the search you can create uh, a special type of search which is very uh, dynamic and handy so let's go here to summary search uh, fields and then you can create uh, let's create here one with the field uh, date another one with the field category and with the field sales so we have different data types we have Cahens field, we have uh, integer and we have date field. So just for you to see the different options. So for date fields, we have different types of components. We have uh, the component for date range, the component for actual period, relative period, seasonal period. So for example, seasonal period, you're going to choose uh, quarterly. So let's choose here quarter one, two, three and four. For the category, 
uh, we can choose here a select bo box or mood select box and for the sales uh, we can choose here this slider component and choose also the function that you want to use for this uh, currents field and then when you run it's going to be uh, a filter above the the summary so you can select here the quarter one uh, category condiments and value and it's going to do the it's like a refined search you can clean and do just category okay so this is how you can uh, play here with the summary options so I'm just pretending to create here uh, like a report and trying to show you this reporting features and there are much more features here uh, that you can try and see okay so Tricket is a very powerful uh, report generator as well let me see here uh, is it possible to group by week I have this question here from Mauricio uh, let me check yes I guess let me go back here to the group one settings we have month yes you can do per week or year and week or weekday yeah then it's going to be Sunday Monday uh, etc okay and you can repeat here the date uh, as many times as you want uh, using different periods of course okay uh, so for the grid application we are using here this grid application as a report but we can create another grid let me create here uh, I can I have two options to create I can create one by one using the new application or I can create uh, several grids at a time using the back uh, applications so here for example I can go to customers and script case is going to create a form and a grid at the same time and it can create here usually when you are creating a system you will need to create uh, grids and forms for many tables so you can use this option here uh, for express uh, creation and then it's going to be uh, e easy and fast for you to create the applications so here I'm creating one grid and one form for the table uh, customers for example so I have now uh, the applications so the form application I can run here to see is the one I'm going to use for the creation update uh, delete I have also the options for the form did I run the form let me run again okay so this is the uh, grid application linked to a form if I go here I see the form and then the form application I'll be able to do the save delete uh, and add new okay and inside the inside the form application I'll have all the options uh, very similar to the grid application but it's going to be according to the form options it's a little bit different but then you have many options here to customize your form you can customize the layout you can do a master detail relationship or many to many relationship you have different options also here inside the form okay so we have the grid with the customers and the form with the customers but since I create the two applications at a, uh, uh, using the back applications, they are already linked. So I can go to the form to the grid customers and from the grid customers access the form to edit each customer. Okay. So again, how you can uh, here I'm integrating a form with a uh, with a grid. But if I can do um, other type something something more advanced. For example, uh, let's say I want to print here the um, customer or I want to send an email to this customer. So I have uh, two different ways to, to implement um, things here inside script case. I can use, for example, the events. So we have different events and the events will run inside the applications uh, and you are able to add codes inside the events to do something more advanced. Uh, you have also here the programming area where you can create methods and use libraries. So these libraries can be uh, PHP libraries or 30-part libraries. 
you can also import the, uh, this third-part libraries using here the external libraries options and then you will call the libraries inside the, the applications. So let's play here a quickly example. So let's say I want to um, send an email uh, to these customers. So let's create a field. Uh, let me go here to um, inside the grid application. Yes. So I'll go to fields, new field. And I'll create one new field. And I will call, uh, I'll say that the type will be uh, image. So I have here some special types from script case and uh, email, send email. Okay, so script case is going to create a field inside my grid application, not inside the database. Okay, this is just an application field. And this is the image field. I'm going to attach uh, an image to this field. So I want to send um, an email. Let's select here this letter. And here I can link uh, this image to uh, another application. So the idea is uh, to, to send uh, an email. So I, I, I could do this using this option, creating a field and then inside the field, I will select uh, another application to send the email for me. Or I can also create a button here inside the toolbar. If I want to create a button inside the toolbar, I can go here to buttons, new button, and then I have different types of buttons. I can create a JavaScript button, PHP, link, run. So it would be a PHP button, and then inside the button, I would program uh, the function for me to send the email, and then send email when, when you click the button. But for this case, I want to send email one by one, so I need to use a field because then I have here the, uh, the button inside each line of my grid application. Uh, so let's go back here. Uh, to send the email, I'm going to create a new application and then I could use uh, the control application or the blank application. The control application is like an empty form you have, you can program, you can create fields and program inside the fields. Uh, and the blank application, it's just uh, an application for me to generate um, validation. So it's just an empty application. It's like I am programming uh, without script case. So I can integrate anything I want using this application. Uh, the good thing is that I am inside script case. So I can use a script case as features I can use the script cases, macros, uh, internal uh, libraries, everything inside script case, and I can program myself. So if you cannot do something using an automatic application from script case, you can just go here and uh, program yourself. So for this example, we want to send an email. So I have here already the template uh, and script case is using a macro. So the macros are internal uh, functions from script case. We create here just to make your life easier. We have different macros for you uh, and you can find uh, the documentation of these macros. Okay. And how you can use them, how you can apply in which events. So for example, this one is going to send the email. I would have to program here the function for me to send the email. Then we have the macro behind this macro. We are using the function PHP mailer. Okay. So I would have to program here and then save, generate the source code. For this case, we are just sending, uh, doing an example. I would go back to the grid application and then here inside the email field, I will link the image to this blank application. So blank, I would have to set the parameters, but for this case, we don't have. And then when I go and click inside the letter, the, the image, uh, the application will call, the grid application will call the blank, proceeds the, the code and then bring um, a message or something. For this case, it's not going to happen because uh, we didn't have the function. So it's just an echo. But the idea here is to send the email and then uh, bring, for example, uh, email send with success or something. Okay. But this is just for me to show you how to integrate the applications. So here inside this grid, we have already 
a form, okay, and we have the uh, blank application. It, it could be a PDF report for you to print a receipt. Uh, it would be any other type of application, okay? So let's go back here to script case. So uh, we saw uh, the grid application and now I want to show you uh, the chart application, okay? Let's create here a new application, uh, chart. The chart application is also a grid, so I just want to show you how you can easily create a chart here inside script case because then different you have the chart integrated with the grid and you have here the chart application uh, separate because then you have more options to customize so if you need to create just a chart it's better if you use the chart application instead of the grid uh, grid chart the chart you have integrated with the grid so here let's create the same uh, category with date uh, let's put here year and month and then for the metric let's put here sales and then you can select if you want to sum, maximum, average, standard deviation etc. So just by doing this I have already my chart application. Script case uses a very powerful library called Fusion Charts. It's a paid library that you don't need to pay because it's already integrated with script case. So we have here the charts uh, by category and if I click here inside the category I drill draw to the uh, for this case year and then month okay if we go back to the main chart you have here the customized options where you can build the chart in the moment here I can go for example I can take the year and then I will have the chart just uh, category and then month I can also add more fields and build here my chart or change uh, the, the layout or change the chart type uh, according to the chart I want to build. Okay, and you have, uh, for example, if you go to, you have two options um, of chart. You have, this is what we call. Um, single not no uh, yes yeah, single series chart or um, synthetic chart okay because you have then the categories and if you drill draw you have the uh, months but then you can also have this as uh, multiple series multiple series or analytic so if you uncheck here the drill draw you're going to have the chart as analytic so you show all the information, all the information inside uh, just one chart. So here we have uh, the months and also the categories because I'm using the analytic or multi or multiple series uh, chart type. If I go drill draw again, it's going to change to a synthetic chart. So you can use and you can customize here in runtime. I mean, your final user can customize. You can also export export here to different types, or I can go. Let me go here to chart options, uh, export chart. We have if you if we put this on, we will have more options of export uh, more export options. Where is it? Okay, here you can export as an image, PDF, and etc. And you can also do um, search as we did inside the, um, the summary. You can also customize uh, the fields individually. Uh, you can also customize the layout. You have here the different uh, chart types and you can customize your uh, charts layout using here this option. So script case will give you many different options uh, for you to create the applications easy and fast. Okay, so we have already chart, we have form, we have grid application, uh, and we are almost uh, finishing here our demonstration. I want to show you, before we finish, I want to show you uh, the menu application, the dashboard, and the security, okay? So I guess we can take just more 15 minutes. So I don't know if you guys have questions so far. Let's continue here creating um, a dashboard. 
so we can put all the applications together in a in a in a page and then we can put this page inside the menu okay so let's create here the dashboard so as you can see it's very easy and fast to create the applications inside script case so uh, here inside the dashboard I'm going to have two different types I have the widget link and I have the uh, widget index okay so the link will be for me to uh, use for for example uh, call the applications we have here the applications and then I can put this application inside this widget this widget or I can call an external URL for example I have a, another system that is hosted in another website so I can just copy this URL and paste here but for this case let's add inside the widget our application so for this one I'm going to call the chart application okay this is going to be my first widget let me put it here like this I can also make my work area bigger like this so I can organize here my dashboard so this is going to be the chart application and then inside the chart application uh, we have the toolbar for example here the chart types and uh, export options inside the dashboard I don't want to see this I just want to see the chart itself so I can go here and take all the buttons from the toolbar or I can just leave uh, the buttons uh, just one or two just to make my chart uh, more clean I have also here the properties options that I can use or not I will just remove everything because I want to have only the chart itself okay so this is going to be my chart and then I'm going to add uh, index widget the index widget is for you to show some KPIs inside the dashboard so you need to connect to uh, to a table I'm going to use here the table let me see the sales again then we can use the field sales uh, some percentage difference uh, per month okay let's put here sales per month okay I have some properties as well inside the dashboard let's save this is going to be here I'm going to create another one just to place in here uh, new index widget so this one I'm going to use sales again but now I'm going to use as a value monthly as well months both per both periods okay so this is going to be my we get two I mean we get three okay so we have the chart index one index two and here I'm going to call the um, let me see that first grid we did the grid sales okay so let's run to see how my dashboard will look like okay it's fine I don't have the buttons here so I have only the chart itself okay I have here the KPIs and I have the summary I can place whatever I want I can call a blank application running a video or I can call uh, you have many examples of dashboards inside this uh, project here okay so now that we have already our dashboard and our applications let's create a menu so I'll go back here to new application create a menu the menu application is also very easy to play you just have to call here the items and then organize the layout so let's call our applications we have the uh, chart form grid and grid so let's call all the applications I'll say that this is my sales report uh, customers new customers So we can use the form 
and then here uh, chart okay so let's change here the layout this one's fine so I can run my menu with my applications uh, and then script case is going to create here a simple menu and I can access the applications okay uh, when I run the menu I want to have the dashboard in the background so I'll go to settings then here I can organize for example the alignment if I want the left and the center I have some options here to set my menu and one of the options is uh, to set a default application so I'm going to call one application and here we are going to add the dashboard uh, I'm going also to enable here the default icons so I can have some menu icons inside the, the menu so let's run again so now we have the dashboard running in the background and we have here the menu icons you can also customize here this structure of the menu if we go here to layout menu structure uh, and then here I'm going to add this layer and call an image let me see this one okay and then using these uh, layers I can also apply uh, libraries methods to my menu so I can create something like this for example if you go here to uh, library the script case uh, will, will have some internal library some uh, external libraries already available for you so if we go here to tools external libraries we can enable here this uh, samples save and when I enable this uh, this samples uh, library from script case I'm going to see here some options of libraries let me close and open again okay so we have two uh, libraries for the menu so let me use this one and then inside this library I'll have uh, something like this but then I need to uh, customize here all the um, I need to customize here all the variables okay so let me use the this other one to show you inside this one I just have uh, one it's like a note that they can apply an image or something to display inside my menu in this case I guess I have like a bell but then I can also change and add something else okay so let's update our menu so I'll have the menu uh, something like this uh, to finish here our system uh, we are just missing the secured part so the secured model uh, will be for you to uh, finish the system and the secured model will be uh, for you to control the system all the users and applications what users will see what applications so let's apply here the secured model if you go to models you have here the security so you have four different types of security the user the application group or LDAP so for this case we can apply the group security inside the group security we are going to have different groups and you are able to add, to add users to the groups okay so you give the privileges for the applications according to the group you have also application then you have users and applications you give the privileges according to the users and you have the user which is only for you to control uh, the access so user and logging you don't have the option to control uh, the privileges according to, uh, to the applications uh, we also have the LDAP option this is for you to integrate your security with the LDAP from uh, Windows or Linux okay so let's apply here the group security next I'll have to connect to a database let's use the same database 
that I have the option to use some existing tables or to create my own tables okay if I use um, existing tables I need uh, I need to if I use the existing tables I need to um, associate the tables uh, that I have with applications that script case is going to create if I ask script case to create the, to create the tables for me script case is going to create all the tables inside this connection we are linked here so let's add here the table prefix uh, I will check this option to delete uh, tables if they already exist and also to protect uh, logged users because then script case is going to enable some options for me inside the security uh, we have also the option to use social uh, networks uh, the social buttons for me to log in but then I need to create the project inside Facebook Twitter and Google and then attach this to my security let's do not use this option and click next so now script case create uh, created the security tables we have one table for users another one for application groups user and groups groups applications and logged users so script case created all these tables inside my database and here we can see the association so uh, the secured application fields with the database fields the script case is doing uh, the association automatically so just if I use my own tables I'll have to do this association manually but since I'm using uh, script case tables the association is all set for me so let's click here next and here we can do some general configuration uh, if you want to apply some encryption for the password if you want to use captcha uh, the team for the applications um, the log model if you have one you can attach here and the menu application so let's apply here the menu we did uh, set the logging options if you want to allow uh, what type of characters you want to allow the size and etc for logging uh, for user and password this is going for the login screen because the security model is going to create 17 applications and for the group uh, type and then one of these applications um, is the login screen uh, here you're going to define uh, how the retrieve password will work uh, how you are going to add new users to the system so you have the option to allow, uh, allow the registration of new users uh, inside the login screen you can uh, require activation by email or send email to the, the, to the administrator uh, for this case if you check this option allow the registration of new users the script case is going to create a default group uh, what is this for? Uh, for example uh, you have there inside your login screen the option to create a new user so when the um, when the new user go there to this form apply uh, his information this new user will belong to this default group and then you as a system admin or your system admin will um, configure for this will for this group uh, which applications this new user will be able to see or not okay if you do not use here if you use for example requires by email this option this group will not be created it will be created only if you use the allow uh, registration inside the login screen let's use this one so we can see uh, when we finish the secured model here we can configure the email settings so you need to know from the system admin uh, the information the details here so you can add and this person can send emails from the security and receive emails from the security uh, logged users if you want to uh, display the logged users if, if you want to have an application to see uh, the logged users if you want to use brute force attack protection yes or no uh, the period in minutes and the retries uh, number before lock you can set here and this is for the login template uh, if you do not use a template script case will apply the default one but then we have some templates that you can apply here we have four options you can check let me see if we have here inside the samples um, we have the option here yeah inside 
script case 9 you have here the templates so those are the options we have for you to use you can also customize and create your own options okay so let's apply uh, this one the login number one so go here login number one generate security and then here script case is going to insert uh, the first user to the table of users uh, this user will be the admin with full options with full permissions uh, and we are going to, script case is going to add also a group the admin group so from this group and this user you are able to create more groups and to uh, manage the security model okay so create uh, checking these options uh, this option all applications will be included uh, it means that script case is going to enable security for all applications from this project uh, generate security you can also uh, that option was for you to uh, save the profile the security profile for next projects and now we are uh, creating the 17 application so script case is creating all the rules and everything you need to run this uh, security okay open project and now when we open the project we are going to have uh, the login screen not the menu anymore let's open here the login screen and run so as you can see we have here that uh, login number one let's log as admin and inside the system I have the secured options so I have the users, application groups, uh, group users, group applications. I can see the logged users and everything. Okay. So if we go back to the menu, uh, I can go here new user. Let's add here a new user. Marsha one two three four one two three four. okay so I'm adding this new user and if I go back as admin again I will see that this new user is already added and it, it is included to the default group okay so if I log as Marsha uh, I'll have some options block it I cannot see here the applications for example because uh, the admin didn't set the privilege so I need to go as admin and set the privilege for the group uh, default and also for uh, all the groups I create I go here to groups application select the group and set here the privileges uh, inset delete update export print inside each application okay so this is the security you can also apply uh, the log model for you to um, to follow and to monitor everything that is done inside the system this is all automatic from script case and when you finish you have to deploy as I said when we start the presentation this is the development environment so I need to deploy the applications and send to my production environment okay so this production environment can be my customers website my customers uh, local local network or I can do also a deployment inside here my local computer so let's do one deployment so you can see the steps for for the deployment uh, inside script case um, script cases directory if I go here to to the local disk uh, program files and netmake I have my version 9 and here I have PHP and Apache so I can use also a uh, script case environment to deploy my applications just for tests okay so you can deploy inside your web server or your customer your, your clients 
local server or you can make like a local deployment just for you to test so let's create here a fold inside the root uh, folder let's create here a new folder system test okay and then I'm going to use this folder to deploy so I'll copy here and then I go to project uh, deploy applications I will deploy all applications because I'm doing the deployment for the first time I have two options for the deployment I can do a typical or advanced the difference here is that inside the typical a script case will manage all folders and inside the advanced uh, I'll be able to type different folders path I'll, I'll be able to separate uh, some for example the image files the document files I'll be able to customize my production environment so let's use the typical option for the first time we are deploying it's recommended uh, to deploy with common libraries and with common files so we, a script case is going to create a file a folder called underscore leap and and there it's, you're going to have all the common uh, files and libraries let's choose the initial application uh, the login I have different options key here to extract the applications I can create a zip with the application a target Z I can deploy local I can deploy using FTP or SFTP let's do here using a um, local directory because then we can just paste here the path from where we want to have we want to deploy and the script case is going to deploy here inside this folder okay so let's wait until we finish uh, until script case finishes here the deployment Okay, script case uh, finished the deployment. I have all the folders already deployed. And to access here this project, I have to open, since I'm using the same um, environment from script case, I can just call again localhost, but instead of opening the script case, I'm going to open the system test, which is the folder we have just created. So for the first time we access the project, script case will ask me to create the uh, connection because the project uh, doesn't know where the connection is as I was telling you at the beginning we have two different environments so I'm using the same uh, server but the application doesn't know that I'll have to create again the connection because if I'm using a different server I'll have to export and import the database to connect to the production server so let's create here the connection the script case has this production environment for me to manage the um, connections so the first time I enter I need to use script case and then I'll have to uh, set my password okay then here I'll simply uh, confirm the connection because we are using the same um, database so I just need to I just need to confirm and then I will access again and now I can use my deployed system okay so here we didn't have to export and import so here we didn't have to ex import and export and import the database because I was using the same but then if you have a different server you have to uh, deploy also the database tables okay so now we are ready to use the system and this is uh, what I had for today for this presentation well I would like to thank you very much for attending for watching the video if you are watching offline uh, you can go to our website and see more examples, more videos. We have here the e-learning area with uh, webinars. We have live and recorded webinars with examples 
we have courses as well. We have free courses, paid courses. Um, you can go here and see some projects in English, Spanish. Okay. If you if you need anything for the questions, you can contact us. Uh, sales at scriptcase.net or you can chat with us to learn more about script case or to know more about our um, price and licensing so thank you very much again for watching this video and I see you next video bye bye <laughs>